Now we're back to learning Inkscape and this time I'm going to create a couple of cursor icons. We're going to use the PC tool, I left click and then I go downwards and I hold control. It makes it snap and we've got the right angle. I always left click and release it directly. And now I close the shape. Let's go to the center position, left click again and I create a second point down here. Let me adjust it a little bit and I simply use the notes tool for it. And once again I hold control when I drag this one downwards. And it's a good idea to disable the snapping for now when I reposition this node. When I reposition this line below, I'll re-enable the snapping. That's a good point to start. Let me copy it, pressing Ctrl D. And I'll first work on this one. Let me give it a black fill, so I click on a black color swatch. I select the line, object, fill and stroke. I'm under stroke style and use the width, let's say 20 millimeters. I'll give it a round cap. I can get rid of the stroke for the top part. But I want to make the corners round. Easiest way is to select it, go to Path, Path Effects, use Corners, and then use the Notes tool, select them all. And drag these little icons a little bit inwards. And that's a good one. Let me use this instead of the other ones, so I press Ctrl D on these. Let me get rid of the fill here, so I click on the X and then I hold shift, click on the black color swatch to give it a stroke. On the fill and stroke, stroke style width, I set it to 20 millimeters as well. I have to reposition the line. But that looks fine. I can select it, Ctrl G to group it. Final one, let me make it white. So I click on a white color swatch and I'll shift and click on it again to have the stroke also turn white. And now I create a circle using the ellipse tool. I'll hold shift and control when I drag it from the center position. I'll put it below with the top function up here. And now you can see the white arrow. And if I size it up and down, I still hold control and shift. Once more, I select it and control G to group it. And this is how you can create these cursor icons in Inkscape. I hope this video was helpful, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.